Hello story readers, this is me Srinika with another interesting story and it's from the book Grandma's Bag of Stories written by Sudha Murthy. Shall we go on to the story now? This week's story is The Princess's New Clothes. The story goes like this. The king and queen of Olas were very sad. Nobody were attacking them. The subjects were happy and the farmers had grown a bumper crop. Then why were they so sad? Because they longed for a child and they did not have one. So, one day they heard of a place in the forest where you pray hard and well, your wish will be granted. So, the king and queen went to the forest and prayed to the forest fairy for many days. Then, one day the forest fairy appeared before them. And the king and queen asked the forest fairy, We want a child, they said. And the forest fairy said, Sure, you will be granted with a beautiful and a lovely girl. Then the forest fairy said, The, the, the baby will be beautiful, but she will like new clothes too much. It will make life difficult for you. Do you still want a child like that? She asked. The king and queen wanted a child so much that they would agree for anything. So the forest fairy agreed and granted what they want. Then she went among the forest. Soon the queen gave birth to a lovely little girl. Oh, what a little thing it was with a jet black hair and, and thick eyelashes long toes and fingers. They named her Bina. The, the subjects in the kingdom were happy for their king and queen. Then, as the goddess said, Bina liked new clothes too much. So, tailors from, from the kingdom and even outside the kingdom came and they did a lovely dresses each, each day. And Bina would refuse to wear one dress twice. So, silk, wool, cotton, you name it. Bira had all the colors in nature in, present in her wardrobe. For a while, the king and queen were happy that they were buying a new thing for their daughter every day. But then they realized that they were spending money and time finding tailors and clothes for their daughter. So, they realized that this is the flaw that the forest fairy warned them about. So, they decided to send Bina to the forest fairy and find a solution for this problem. So, Bina went to the, <coughs> Bina went to the forest and she waited for the forest fairy to come. When she came, she told about the problem that her mother and father were facing. So, the forest fairy said, I know about your flaw, my child. I will send you a new outfit every day. You, but you have, you can wear it and it will be beautiful and the colors will delight you. But you must not wear anything else or exchange with anyone else. Bina was happy and she returned back to the palace. From then on, Bina found a beautiful outfit beside her bed. Then. It was ready to be worn. Finding matching earrings and shoes, it was a dream come true for her. Everybody told how beautiful Bina looked. Then this excitement only lasted for few months. Then if Bina sashayed in wearing another fantastic outfit, nobody told. It's a goddess gift, she just told. Bina was Bina grew sad. Then on a function day, when Bina wore an outfit, she saw a girl wearing a simple cotton sari. 
but she looked attractive. Everybody was staring at that girl and they told how beautiful that girl looked. Then Bina grew jealous. She went up to the girl. Oh, your beautiful your beautiful outfit. Could I have that outfit? You can have this outfit in return. She asked the girl. The girl was astonished. The famous princess Bina offering a marvelous outfit and asking her cotton sari in return. She was shocked. She happily gave the cotton sari to her and took the marvelous outfit. The second she wore the the, the sari, all her surroundings changed. She was in the forest and in front of the forest fairy. Bina, the forest fairy called. I have told you, you should not exchange the clothes with anyone else, but you have just done that. I am afraid there is a punishment for not listening to me. I have to take you away from the human world forever, the forest fairy told. Bina was sad. She thought of her crying, crying faces of her mother and father and the subjects of her kingdom who loved her dearly. Then she spoke aloud. Then fill my last wish for us, Vary. I, I want to be useful and, and the subjects of my kingdom have to just remember their, their beloved princess. Change me to something that I am useful. Then the forest fairy, the, then the forest fairy smiled and turned her into a plant. Do you know what plant Bina was? Yes, an onion. Have you noticed an onion has lots of layers? Those are the dresses that Bina once wore. And have you noticed your mother crying while cutting onions? And note ourselves, like the people in Bina's kingdom, they would shed tears for their kind-hearted, beloved prince. Do you find the moral of the story? Be happy with what you have. Hope you all enjoyed my story. Bye.